When M-Panel relaxes joined meshes of different sizes, it will try to even out the uh, mesh density um, so that the grid size is similar on both sides. And we can see the result in this example where we have one, the left conic is larger than the right conic. The mesh, which I've colored yellow here, uh, bulges into the cyan uh, mesh. Now, if we're trying to create cross sections for this mesh, assuming that we're happy to have a seam with this shape, uh, we'll find a problem because these cut lines effectively do not cover the whole of this mesh. So let's try it and see what happens. I'm going to select all meshes that have, and the two cut lines. And we're going to ask for uh, three panels and evenly spaced with seven extra cross sections. So run the tool. Now, firstly, it's reporting that the angle of this particular um, cross section set is greater than 90 degrees. That's going to be fine. So we go ahead and we can see if I delete old that we've got no extra cross sections. Uh, we've only got these two seams here. Now, in order to overcome this problem, I've got a copy of this here. We need to extend these original cut lines so that they extend beyond the edge of the mesh. So I'll use the AutoCAD scale command and I'm scaling from the middle and I'll try 1.5 and just to make sure that we're actually outside the side of the mesh I can draw a line here and see that I've definitely got something larger than the mesh so we'll repeat the same procedure as we did before select the three meshes and the two cut lines run the tool and now we can see we have the extras as well as the main seams going to the edge of the mesh now alternatively M panel also gives us the ability to create a straight seam in these situations. So I'll take a copy of the model and a copy of one of these meshes. We'll use the M panel tool to convert a mesh to a polyline and we want the option for just the edge polyline selected. Delete old. We don't need these. And I'm going to apply a poly float constraint to this 3D poly. We're going to constrain the points to a straight line in top view. I need to set that float on the poly, which we get acknowledged. Now copy or move this poly back onto the model. So now when we relax again, so we're relaxing as a joined edge mesh with variable warp stress, And we'll see now M panel has straightened the seam between these two conics. So this way, when we do cross sections, we'll end up with a normal seam join between these two. The shape remains the same. So we're not interfering with the shape of the conic. We've still got a smooth transition between the two cones, but we have a straight seam 
instead of a curved seam.